Before I take you where I'm going, let me show you where I've been. So you could get a glimpse of the person behind the pen. The father and the brother, the lover, son and the friend. Got started in Coney Island. For others, it was the end. Had to make a decision. You out the game and you win. Climb up out of calamity or you down to descend. Hard to envision heaven when all you see in the sin. And waking out of your slumber and seeing 50%. Make you want to give in. But nah, I'm resilient. So I make it my mission to make my mama the millions. Build a bond with my brothers to bring us out of the building. Cause even celebrating life might result in the Killing, leave it blank or you fill in. It's deeper than the poem. Them homies black out if the cameras front of their homes. Not a reality show, it's reality shown. And this is for the record, just in case you didn't know. So here we are. Carry Gardens, welcome to Carry Gardens, 2-3rd, this is where I grew up. 23rd Street, Carry Gardens, between Surf and Mermaid. Basic uh, New York City Housing Authority project building, you know, sometimes you woke up with no hot water, uh, sometimes the elevator was broke, you know, a lot, of, uh, a lot of crime, a lot of drugs. The conditions of that building, honestly, at that time, it was crazy, drug infested. You know, drug dealers in and out, people uh, shootouts over there. Every time I went inside, I'd take the steps because he always lived on the second floor. So it was always mad garbage, like right under our window. That's the kitchen. So you would smell the garbage coming up in the kitchen. The hustlers used to stay in the lobby or in the front of the building, and you would always see a line of heads coming, building, cop, make their way out. The staircase would be crowded, whether you're going through the front way or if you're going through the back way, it was still pretty crowded, you know, and it's not crowded as a good thing. You have all kinds of people in the staircases. You have drug dealers, you have crackheads and stuff like that. The stairs is pissy and everything. Tere didn't have it easy growing up. I want to say that. He didn't have it easy. He grew up in a single parent household with me as his mother. Um, in my younger days, I was a little crazy. The wows, you know. I had a lot of growing up to do. In fact, I had Teray when I was 18 years old. Bottom line, like we grew up poor, you know, single, single uh, parent household. It was just me and my mom for like 10 years. You know, me and my dad have a, a better relationship now, but he was kind of out the picture when I was growing up. That that was typical in Coney Island. You would see dudes that lived in Coney Island that had kids in Coney Island that wouldn't be doing for their kids, and you live in the same small neighborhood. My mother is. My mom is everything to me. Like, I just saw my mom really, like, grind it out and, and, and persevere and come through it, you know what I'm saying, come through uh, all the nonsense. Just a better person. Coolest mom ever. Me and her, cool to this day. That's my, that's my. <laughs> you know, they held each other down. They had a good relationship with each other. You know, they got that serious bond with each other. Um, that in and of itself was difficult to have a young mother. Um, and then, um, he had some, some, um, some challenges health wise. I'm actually legally blind in my left eye. You know what I'm saying? It's so like, I, I just grew up with, you know, like I woke up one day, you know, I was like three years old. I woke up, like I went to sleep normal. I woke up the next day and I couldn't see shit out of my left eye. I guess it made me stronger in the long run. You know what I'm saying? As a, as a kid, five, you know, four or five years old, you don't get it. You're just like, damn, I want to be normal. I want to be like everybody else. And I watched Teray bounce back. Um, and, and, and it wasn't easy. And um, I think it's indicative of his spirit. I was fortunate with the dudes that I hung out with as a kid. Um, you know, as I moved onward in life, I hung out with a lot of positive people. I hung out with some negative people too, but like the, the circle of friends that I have were all positive dudes. He's had the same friends for many, 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 many years. He made sure whatever he did, um, it didn't land him in any, any, any trouble or he, he didn't have, like, he never, and I always say this, Teray never made me cry. You know, we can walk through my old block and I'll see people that I grew up with, people that have been there their whole life. And that's no that's no shot, that's no knock on them. But I want to see more, you know. I know that there's more 
to life. There's more to living than just, you know, Neptune, Mermaid, and Surf. That's good now. Turn on for a second. I'm just not sure if anybody's gonna be in front of the building selling drugs. So I'm gonna walk around with the cameras on. Can't buck shot. Oh, Tor, what up, man? Come on, Tor, son. I'm about to black out, man. I'm about to black out. I can't do I said, keep the cameras off until I make sure everything is All right, man. Yeah. All the dudes who had the fly clothes and the beepers and the girls was the, was the dudes who hustled, you know, so. I was like, well, I don't want to do that. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I was sensible enough to know that that wasn't uh, an answer. I, you know, I knew it wouldn't last forever. So the next best thing, you know, I didn't have a jump shot. He took the ball and he threw it all the way over the backboard as he's going to dunk. Um, I didn't have a little jump shot, so it was like music. But, you know, I mean, honestly, it wasn't like a way for me to get out. It was just something I loved, though. something I wanted to do. Like, when I got, when I got the music bug, it, it stuck around. Trey always loved music. Um, again, when he was a little boy, he w would take uh, spoons and, and all kinds of things and do his little act. He stood out because he kicked freestyle and it was clever. Cause you 15 years old, you 14, 15, and you kicking freestyle, that's clever off the top of your head at that age. I was like, damn. When he was younger, I didn't like rap. And he played rap music in the house, and, 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 and I would say, stop playing that music in my house. And, and so he, he was such a charmer, he got me to start listening to the lyrics. And then we began to listen to rap together. I call my mom right now, and she'll just spit the whole Dwick. You know what I mean? Like Guru's whole verse on Dwick. Or like, tell her, yo, let's go see Tribe Called Quest documentary. And she'd be like, yeah, back in the days on the Boulevard of London. Record company people are shady, you know, that whole thing. I begin to take it a lot more seriously and, and to, to acknowledge that this was something that he took serious, that it wasn't just a phase, it wasn't going to pass. Um. The first time I heard him rap, um, I had never heard him really rap live. First time I ever rapped was here on Bro Day. Bro Day is basically an event that happens every year in Coney Island. It's about a uh, a young man who got shot. Look over that way. It's my man Stephen Bro Rodriguez who passed away, and um, you know to, to kind of celebrate his life. Some of his homies, you know what I'm saying, the people from the neighborhood that got together and started this thing called Bro Day. When I came out and rapped at Bro Day, everybody mouth hit the floor because nobody knew I rapped, and I was good. He was the first one that set it off. He said something about, I do it like Marbury, do it off the dribble. And people was like, oh! And he blew it down, and ever since then, there's been rappers and on Bro Day um, spitting, so. This is always going to be, you know, special to me. This is it's my first show. Man. Today is Bro Day. They moved it over to Kaiser Park. So, you know, it's a bunch of basketball games. And, you know, like I said before, this is where I got my, my first start. You know what I mean? My, my first big break as far as him seeing out in public. So, you know, go ahead and check out the game, see what it's heading for. Should be dope. It's crazy how things work out sometimes. I mean, if you think about it, Bro Day was the catalyst for my whole career. Every stage, all the records, and any success I've had stems from that one moment when I decided to pick up the mic on the court in front of my building. Bro Day was a tragic loss turned into a neighborhood celebration 16 years strong. But you know how life is. In the blink of an eye, things can come full circle. And if every reason for the celebration, it's the reason why we mourning all over again. I dipped out the astral land, figured I could grab some food and get back in time for the rap battles. But I never made it back for the battle. So my phone started going off crazy. Police are investigating a double shooting in Brooklyn. It happened just before 11.30 last night in Leon Kaiser Park on West 29th Street and Neptune Avenue in Coney Island. Investigators say 25-year-old Shamar Watts suffered a gunshot wound to his upper torso and a 19-year-old was shot in the legs. Watts was taken to Coney Island Hospital where he was pronounced dead. The teen was taken to Lutheran Medical Center where he is listed in stable condition. So far, no arrests have been made.